All right, let's now shift our attention to some other stories. Where after the tense relations between India and China, Beijing has said that its relationship with New Delhi has witnessed new, some progress. That the statement has in fact come from China's foreign ministry. China and India share extensive common interests and have a huge potential for cooperation. China attaches great importance to its relationship with India and stands ready to work with India to implement the major consensus reached by the leaders of the two countries. Our two sides should foster a more positive energy and expand to new cooperation fields in order to promote the healthy and stable development of bilateral relations. But also the thaw in the relations comes following a recent high-level meeting between the two sides. India and China were in fact locked in the 73-day-long military standoff in the Doklam sector near Sikkim last year. The two sides also later agreed to disengage their troops in the disputed area and have defused the crisis. But also it seems that India is of course planning to take full advantage of this period of thaw. Now Vion has learned that officials from India and China are planning a high-level meeting between the leaders of the two nations and this means that there is a possibility of a face-to-face -face meeting between the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the Chinese President Xi Jinping sooner rather than later. And this is being seen as an effort to reset ties after a period of tensions over the border violations. Now, India's National Security Advisor Ajit Doval recently held talks with a top official from China's Communist Party. Now, both sides agreed to maintain the pace of the high-level exchanges. Last week, India had also offered to sell soya bean and sugar to China. Remember, these two commodities have become a bit of a casualty of the trade war between the United States and China. The reports also indicate that India's external affairs minister Sushma Swaraj and defense minister Nirmala Sitaraman are also scheduled to pay a visit to Beijing later this month.